Well, it's time for the Prepper Spotlight once again. And today I'm going to highlight some videos or channels that I think may be of interest to you. The first one is Angry Prepper. And yes, he looks a little strange, maybe like almost a wrestling character because he wears a black ski mask or hood on his face. But boy, he has some good information. His series on his makeshift prepper grill is really excellent. Not only does he show how it can be made for only $15, but he also cooks numerous dishes, such as steaks, eh, okay, but even rice, pasta, and even paella with the techniques he has developed. He states that he could cook three meals a day for a year using only $50 worth of charcoal. This grill would also work with scavenged wood. So it's definitely a great inexpensive emergency cooking system. And I believe he's also working on a recipe book. Well, I like watching homestead channels. I'm always amazed at all the energy and the ideas these people have. And one of the newer ones that I'm watching is the Gildbrook Farm. And this channel features professional videos of a couple's homesteading progress on a small lot. And it's located in the Piedmont region of North Carolina. I first stumbled upon this channel when I watched their video, How to Start a Prepper Food Pantry. It really is an excellent tutorial for novices. And they have other videos including how to can meat, how to care for your chicken coop, carpentry, and cooking. But one that really hit home for me was a real life SHTF situation. It was entitled Earthquake, a real SHTF story. The channel's creator was on a vacation in Nepal, traveling alone, when the devastating 2015 earthquake occurred. I really learned quite a few tips on how best to prepare for such a situation. It definitely would be very, very scary. I also love the quote on their about page. Quote, people take different roads seeking fulfillment and happiness. Just because they're not on your road doesn't mean they've gotten lost. The Dalai Lama 14. Words to live by. Now, Peaceful Prepper has been around for some time and he sporadically makes videos, but I love his economic videos. I really gained insight to the present and future economic problems by watching his Why is Consumption Low in the U.S.? Jim explains his complex ideas very simply and I really find these videos enlightening. His videos on prepping and financial freedom are also a must watch. Jim lives the prepper life and he has other videos on bug out bags and solar power, all kinds of subjects. So check out his channel. Most of you know I'm a little bit of a skeptic and I really kind of get upset when people pass on information information on YouTube without finding, gee, is it really true? Is it accurate? Well, one of the things I see this time of the year is people posting all the benefits of the flower pot candle heater. And I have to admit, being in Michigan, I don't think it would heat one of my rooms and I'm pretty skeptical about it. So I found this video by Kevin Laughlin. It's an excellent video using scientific measurements to show that placing a flower pot on top of a candle actually radiates less heat than by the candle itself. So check out this video for a scientific myth debunking. So that's it for this episode of Prepper Spotlight. I hope you find these channels and videos interesting. And if you do subscribe, say that PP or Prepper Potpourri sent you. This is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, and as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Thumbs up if you like it.